hello everybody welcome to another session on uh, selenium uh, web driver uh, framework today i am going to show you how to create a sample uh, keyword driven framework using uh, selenium web driver java and uh, other utilities like property files so what is a property file so let's see now a property file is nothing but a, cre a collection of uh, keys and values so for example here uh, i have a key as a url and the value is http google.com so it's nothing but a collection of uh, key value pairs and uh, so we will see how to extract values from the property file we will start exploring the code so in short what our keyword driven framework does is it reads an excel file uh, with uh, just let me show you the excel file i have kept both my config.properties and uh, keywords.xls in this folder um, in the source main resources folder so now let's see what a I need to open the keywords.xls file from uh, my start prompt. Yeah, so uh, let's have a look at this keywords.xls file. In this, I have only one sheet, sheet one, which has uh, these uh, columns mentioned here. The first one is the test case name. The second one, the second one is the step number. Third is the step name. Fourth is the function. Fifth is the locator. Sixth is the locator value, and seventh is the param. Param is nothing but the value that will go inside. A particular text field or a value that will get selected so I have just put uh, since this is I am just showing you a sample I have just put two steps in the keyword driven framework the first step will launch an application and the second step will fill in some text in the Google text box so here I have named the locator value as element 1 now there, there has to be some uh, connection between your keyword file and uh, um, config.properties. So wh what is that connection? Let's see that. So if I open the config.properties, you will see that i have a element one over here now what is this element one it is nothing but the search text box that you see on the screen if you go to google.com i am using chrome here and if you do a inspect element you will see that the name of this text box is Q so that is what we are linking this keyword file uh, with the config.properties so here the locator value is uh, element 1 which links to our property file in which the key is element 1 so in short we are propagating from the uh, keyword.xls uh, file to config.properties and then into the uh, reusable functions so how the driver script works is we will see in a short time now 
so I have only one function uh, main I have not used test ng here I have just used uh, I am just running the framework through main function so I am creating an object of reusable functions functions uh, functions is my object of reusable functions and then I am taking in uh, I am defining a two dimensional array keyword data and there is a function in the functions uh, reusable functions class which is fetch data from excel so what this function will do is it will bring in the data from the uh, from the two, two dimensional array and it uh, uh, I mean uh, it will pull in the data from the keyword file and it will put it into this two dimensional array and then I am going ahead and uh, extracting the length um, uh, the row numbers and the column numbers from this keyword data so what this keyword data is it, it is nothing but a two dimensional array which has a row and columns then I am going ahead and extracting the column names over here so uh, the test case name I am extracting the step number the step name function locator whatever we saw right now then going forward I am extracting the locator value uh, here so it is nothing but the column name then I am extracting the param which is the example data that will be filled in the google text box so then I am iterating through uh, each of the rows uh, here and I am then taking the contents for the function contents for the locator and contents for the locator value then what I am doing is I am uh, making use of uh, property file to fetch the uh, value based on our content key so the, uh, the value that is in this contents underscore lcv is nothing but element 1 which links to the property file so then I am taking this uh, content value into uh, keyword uh, into this content val uh, variable then we are just we just define a switch in which I have two keywords launch appl and fill text which we saw uh, earlier uh, in our excel sheet so it is again calling the functions dot launch application and functions dot fill text and now we will see what our functions contain so this is our uh, function library uh, as you call it in QTP UFT whatever you say uh, but here I have created a separate class which will have various functions uh, this is just a starting you can include more functions if you want so the first function is the fetch data from excel where I am um, where I am uh, putting the property uh, file path into the path variable now let's see what this keyword file path is the keyword file path is over here and it has the uh, it has the path for the keywords file so it is fetching that file first then uh, it it is creating a uh, new file object here then uh, we go into the file input stream object then uh, we are using uh, something called as hssf workbook uh, wb and we are cre uh, we are using the file object here then we go into the individual sheet using the hssf sheet uh, class uh, we are extracting the row num uh, where we get the row num from uh, the function called get last row num and then uh, we take the column numbers we take the row 0 and take the get last cell number from there uh, these all are functions in the ws uh, in the hssf sheet class so then uh, we uh, define a two dimensional array data where we are putting the uh, string uh, object which we get from row number and column number into the data then we have defined a row uh, which is the object of hssf row here uh, further we go into uh, deriving the cells 
and this is all and then we are returning the entire uh, as you can see here data is nothing but our data we are uh, passing the back the entire array uh, which we fetched from this logic over here the two dimensional array as you can see here so this is our uh, excel function now uh, here i am using test ng i i, I just uh, into uh, included the test annotation in order to check things uh, as you know test ng can also be used for unit testing uh, your functions um, so launch application what it does is it uh, first time set, setting the uh, paths over here the set property function which takes in the chrome driver and the chrome driver path which again we are calling the reusable function for fetching the values from the property file then we are instantiating a new chrome driver here and then uh, we are uh, again using the fetch property for the url and we are using the driver.get function here so this will open the web browser chrome uh, browser and it will fetch the google uh, page here so then uh, fill text function what it does is it takes in three arguments and uh, we put in uh, let's see what our xpath will contain so this is our customized xpath for element 1 you can see uh, I have put two slashes input and then I am deriving the value based on our name at the rate name is equal to Q so that's what this is doing uh, it is uh, taking driver dot find element by X path and then arc 2 is nothing but the value of the uh, X path from the property property file and then I am sending the uh, sending something to the google search text box this is nothing but our param uh, which you saw earlier then uh, this fetch property is our main function which fetches each of the individual keys uh, key values from the property file and then i am returning the uh, uh, value uh, from the property file based on the get property function of the property object so that's all for the framework and now let's see how this keyword uh, driven framework functions so i go to the driver file i just hit run and then let's see how this works just to let you know that this can work on any of the websites if you create such a generic framework then it will work on any of the websites with minimal maintenance so that's what we want right minimal maintenance so it will wait for the page now it uh, enters selenium into the text box so that's all uh, you can extend this framework uh, no problem at all you can keep on adding reusable functions in the function library uh, so called function library i mean in the function class so that's all and then you can add reporting functions as well and this can work on any of the websites that's the main advantage of this keyword driven framework uh, you might be knowing that test ng if you if we use we can also define a framework using test ng but the limitation of test ng uh, is we cannot use it for uh, it is mainly used for uh, testing based on functional scenarios rather than element based testing so here what we are doing is we are 
we are taking each of the individual elements like text box drop downs and then we are putting values we are selecting values we are clicking buttons and we are going on a element by element basis that's what our framework differs from test engine so you can use this framework if you want any of the code just ping me or just send me a message and do comment on this video do subscribe thanks a lot